The main campus of Tennessee Wesleyan College occupies 21 buildings on a 40-acre tract of land in downtown Athens, Tennessee. While each building is unique, there is an architectural consistency that distinguishes the college from other institutions. The red brick, Georgian-style buildings and lush landscaping create a campus that reflects the beauty of East Tennessee and is appealing throughout the seasons. The size of the campus is also an asset. It allows students, faculty, and staff to move easily between classes, administrative offices and services, athletic events, and college activities. The Athens campus is located halfway between historic Chattanooga and metropolitan Knoxville in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. The campus is only a three-hour drive from the larger regional attractions of Nashville and Atlanta. Old College was built circa 1852 and is the oldest building on campus. At 9,315 square feet, it served as the institution's only building for many years and is even rumored to have been used as a hospital for wounded soldiers during the Civil War. It is now listed on the National Registry of Historic Places and continues to serve as the centerpiece of campus, housing the offices of the President, Alumni Relations, and institutional advancement. Built in 1942, with 18,525 total square feet, Lawrence Hall initially served as a student dormitory and was renovated in 1992 to house several administrative spaces, consisting of 31 offices on three floors, including several recently remodeled areas. Though completely modernized, the building has been carefully refashioned to preserve its original integrity. Originally a residence for female students, Lawrence Hall now houses both administrative and academic offices, including the Office of Academic Affairs, Registrar's Office, Business Office, and Office of Financial Aid. The nerve center of the college, the Office of Campus Information Technology, operates from the ground floor of Lawrence Hall. The front parlor serves as a popular gathering area for faculty, staff, and students and is original to the early 1940s architecture of the building. The largest building on campus, Sherman Fine Arts Building, was erected in 1962 at a total of 35,870 square feet and contains the central dining facilities for the campus, including the main dining hall, Glen Low Dining Room, President's Dining Room, and Sullen's Boardroom. The east wing of Sherman Hall houses the music program, including the Jack Houts Choir Room, a recently upgraded rehearsal facility for the college's 55-member choir, and newly developed Green Hall Room, a space used specifically as a piano studio and choral library. The Department of Education and the Department of Religion and Philosophy occupy the west branch of the building. The Education Department provides a hands-on learning experience for majors with a state-of-the-art Teacher Learning Center TLC, and Education Instructional Technology Center, or EITC, including 24 computers equipped with advanced software applications and multimedia teaching tools. The basement was recently renovated to include the Academic Success Center, a collection of services and programs available to all TWC students. The center provides peer tutoring, individualized learning assistance, and group study to help students reach academic goals. Also housed in the building's basement, the 36-seat student mini-theater is equipped with surround sound and features cable, DVD, VHS, and PC connections. Funded by the Student Government Association, the theater is used for instruction and student activities, including forums and campus movie nights. The Murner Pfeiffer Library is a state-of-the-art research center including a print circulation of nearly 13,000 microfiche and hundreds of newspaper and journal subscriptions. Technical services include online research tools, electronic database access, computer and video viewing stations, and a laptop checkout program. Students also have borrowing privileges at other college libraries through the Interlibrary Loan Program. 
Originally constructed in 1942, the 14,052 square foot building was remodeled in 2007 to include wireless internet, modern furnishings, and a cafe area. Built in 1901 as Banfield Hall, the building was completely renovated in 1968 and renamed Banfield Durham Hall. Today it houses office and classroom space primarily for the departments of history, behavioral sciences, and English and foreign languages. Originally constructed to celebrate the college's 100th anniversary in 1957, Centennial Hall underwent a $1 million renovation in 2007 and was renamed Elliott Hall in honor of the donor whose contribution funded the project. At nearly 23,000 square feet, Elliott Hall now houses the college's business school and expanding visual arts program. From classrooms equipped with smart boards to satellite conferencing, Elliott Hall leads the campus with cutting-edge teaching technology. The building is equipped with several smart board classrooms and symposium technology, allowing total interaction between students and professors during instruction and lectures. Additionally, the building includes wireless internet and several business labs, including upgraded software applications. The top floor of Elliott Hall is dedicated to the college's visual arts studio, including an expansive workplace, gallery, and art library. Fisher Hall was constructed in 1966, and its nearly 24,000 square feet are dedicated to the Natural Sciences Department, including several biology, chemistry, and botany laboratories, and exercise and sports sciences research facilities. The building's smart board classroom allows professors to interact directly with students, transforming the typical lecture setting to a presentation of three-dimensional forms in motion. A $100,000 gift from an anonymous donor in 2008 permitted the science faculty to update and improve equipment and facilities. The building's Fisher Seminar Room was also remodeled in 2008 and is frequently used as a meeting space and seminar-type classroom for the Natural Sciences Department. Built in 1924, Townsend Hall has served many functions, but today houses office space for the theater program and Department of Mathematics, a 600 capacity auditorium, and the Office of Student Affairs, including the Student Activities Center, J. Wesley's Grill, and the Campus Bookstore. The building's 32,000 square feet have been modified several times, but major renovations were recorded in 1951 and 1995. The Townsend Hall Auditorium is used for student theater productions, convocations, and special events, including the college's annual baccalaureate service. It is equipped with professional-grade sound and lighting and features stadium-style seating and a full stage with dressing areas and prop storage. The Student Activities Center features J. Wesley's Grill, a quick alternative to the main dining hall, several pool and ping-pong tables, and lounge areas for students. The campus bookstore stocks textbooks, merchandise, and apparel for students, faculty, staff, and alumni. The Jack Bowling Baseball Complex was completed in 2003 and includes a clubhouse with office space for coaches and a lounge area and locker room facilities for players. Named for the 11th president of the college, the James L. Robb Gymnasium boasts a capacity of 900 and serves as home to the Bulldog and Lady Bulldog basketball teams, as well as office and classroom spaces for the exercise and sports sciences department. Adjacent to campus, the soccer and lacrosse field includes new home and visitor field houses containing custom lockers, shower, and restroom facilities. Located near the gym in the basement of Fowler Hall, the Thunder Thornton Fitness Room includes treadmills, weight benches, elliptical machines, and various other pieces of equipment for use by the students and campus community. 